All right, continuing with the fall 2021 AMC 10A problem 20, which was also the 12A problem 17. For how many ordered pairs BC of positive integers does neither this expression nor this expression have two distinct real solutions? Well, I don't know, their parabola is facing up. Maybe we could complete the square to look at their vertex. All I would want is that vertex to be on the x-axis or above it. Let's try that. To complete the square, which is what I'm gonna do, you take this middle term, you cut it in half, you square that and add it here, plus b over four, like this. But, um, you need to put b squared over four. Uh, but you do need to subtract it as well because you can't just randomly add stuff to an expression and you just yeah You can't just do that. So we're gonna have I'm gonna put the C first plus C minus B squared over 4 and this is now equal to Zero, okay, so this is now if you think of this like a parabola, right? This is like if I factor it y equals x minus B over 2 or plus B over 2 squared plus c minus b squared over four. And in vertex form, the vertex will be negative b over two comma this value here. Again, you're looking at x minus h squared plus k, k being the y value of the vertex. So um, I've got this, uh, oh, I, I don't know what I was doing. I'm getting an ordered pair, um, c minus b squared over four. Okay, then what? Well, where do I want my vertex? We said it's a parabola facing up. If you can get it on the x-axis or above it, then you will only have one solution. And it's definitely going up because the coefficient is one for the x squared term. So I need c minus b squared over four to be greater than or equal to zero. Again, that's the k value of our vertex, greater than or equal to the x-axis. That way, you only get uh, one or zero solutions. Because why? If it's equal to zero, think of this like y. What are you saying? You're saying y is zero, which is the x-axis. So if you're not on the x-axis or you're above it and you're going up, you will not get two distinct solutions. Okay, so then what? Not only does this have to be true, but notice all they did was switch the b and c. So it must also be true that b minus c squared over four must also be greater than zero. Okay, then from there, let's move the b squared over four here. So I've got c is greater than or equal to b squared over four. And I don't know, where should we do next? Uh, let's go ahead and also move this here, b greater than or equal to c squared over four. Um, I think I will plug in, hmm, gosh, if you, I need to be less than or equal to b. If I square root that, if it was equal, I would get c squared less than or equal to four b. Maybe I should just square this, it'll be easier. So if I square both sides, c squared, what did it say about ordered pairs of positive integers? So we don't have to worry about negative stuff going on anyway. If I square this, I'll get greater than or equal to b fourth over 16. Ah, okay, now I've got c squared and c squared. I can put it like this, b to the fourth over 16. Okay, so now at this point, let's go ahead and see uh, what we can create for ordered pairs BC. I'm just gonna pick a value for C and see what happens. Um, I'm gonna get one, so I'm gonna try one, first, the first positive energy you can have. If C is one, B could be one, right? This would be one sixteenth, that seems to work. Um, what else? If Could B be another value? Could B be two? Yes, if you put uh, one for C, B could be two because 16 over 16 is one, which is less than or equal to one, which is less than or equal to eight. That works. Keep in mind, we had the same situation. So whatever's true about C must also be true about B. In other words, we have symmetry here. So another point that will do it is one comma two when these switch. 
These can switch also, but when they switch, they're the same thing. Let's double check that real quick. If I put a two for C and one here, I get four and four. It does work for sure, even on this version. Okay, so what's next? What about two comma two then? If C takes on the value of two, this will be four less than or equal to eight, four times two, and then this will be 16 over 16, which is one. That works just fine. Uh, let's go ahead and see, are there any other values? That makes me wonder, if I had three here, it wouldn't quite work for the B value there. Um, but would there be a value for C that works if that was B? Let's try three. If I try three, okay. Um, if I put three, three, because there should be some symmetry, right? Let's see if that works. Nine less than or equal to 12 greater than or equal to 81 over 16. Now, 81 over 16 is really close to 80 over 16, which is five. This is gonna work just fine. Now, we've got five, we're in between four and six. There's gotta be at least one more. Um, maybe we could try one, one, two, two, three, three. Uh, four, four, would four, four work? Let's try that. Um, if C takes on the value of four, it'll be 16. And B takes on the value of four, it'll be 16. And if I plug in four here, I've got 256 over 16. It means they're all 16, right? Because four to the fourth is 16 squared, which is just divide it. You get 16. This is a true statement, four, four works, but you also get the impression since they're all equal, you're not gonna get any other values that work. Um, if I had let, uh, you, you know, try four as the C value real quick, and if I let B be three, would it work? No, because this would be 12, right? So I'd have 12 and 16 is not less than 12, so that wouldn't work. Could I let it be five? Well, five to the fourth power is 25 squared. It's 625 over 16. It's a lot more than the 16 you would get here. Um, and you can keep trying values. You're not gonna find any that work. If I let C be five, um, 25 here, 20 here doesn't work. What if I increased B to a six? Um, six to the fourth is astronomically big. Um, it's gonna be 81. How do I know that so quick? Because six to the fourth is two to the fourth times three to the fourth and 16 is two to the fourth and it cancels to give you 81. So 81 would be less than or equal to uh, when five here, you're just not gonna get any more. These are all six, and that is the answer. I will see you guys in the next video.